Hello and welcome to my channel and my very first video that I will be posting. This channel, if you cannot already tell by the name, is all-encompassing with probably, not probably, definitely hints of other groups here and there, but for the most part entirely dedicated to the Seraphim. I have become completely enamored with them ever since Anti-Fragile era and I'm just such a big fan and I just wanted to create content and, and share my journey with them. And I love watching the content too, so the more the Seraphim out there, the better. I have already filmed a bit of my photo card collection and things like that, but I was kind of thinking, I think it would be nice to have a whole kind of anthology, like from the beginning kind of collection chronologically of the Seraphim and their journey and, and my journey with them, I suppose. So today we're doing not a true unboxing, but I guess more of a review, kind of just more for me, actually, I guess, so that this is the first video I have, their debut album look through, and then I'll post everything sequentially after that. And we're just gonna take a look, and if you haven't purchased this album, or if you're thinking about it, you can use this to look at what you're getting inside and kind of what you're getting a look at. There's tons out there too if you want a really in-depth review. I won't be doing that today, kind of just a quick one. At least I'll try to be quick. But I like the idea of just having everything in order on the channel, so I thought I would start here. And then while you're here, you might as well subscribe and stay up to date with Myla Sarah from Journey with me. Let's get right into it. So we have all three versions here, the monochrome bouquet compact, and then the two photo books, Black Petrol and Blue Cypri. I think that's how you say it. But let's actually start with the compact right now. So here's our beautiful but super shiny album. Difficult for filming, but I think it looks really classic and sleek. I actually do want to just preface that I didn't become a fan of the Seraphim, well I didn't know who they were until they blew up from Anti-Fragile and then I was fully on board, but it turns out I had actually heard and loved one of their songs prior to Anti-Fragile and just loved it, which is Blue Flame. Big fan of that one. It's probably still one of my favorite songs from them today. But let's take a look inside, open her up, and take everything out of there. Small flash of me cannot be helped because of this metallic silver. So first off, let's look at the CD. I love the design that it's just a logo. I have one of those like freestanding CD players, those like exposed CD players. You know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. And I put it on display in there all the time. I think it looks really nice. Next is the booklet. I'm kind of sad that there isn't any photos in here. It is just lyrics, but it does match their really sleek, high fashion theme that they had. They, I guess they still have it, but they leaned into it really heavily during their debut. So not much in here, just lyrics and then yeah, the thanks to's as well. I love the simplicity though at the same time. It's really what pulled me in. I liked how simple their designs were. And lastly is our postcard. Same postcard in all of them, all the members. It's cute. And these are my photo cards. I just pulled them out. They're already sleeved. Like I pulled them out of my binder, but these are the ones that I did pull from this album when I first got it And I love these photo cards. They are my favorite of the monochrome bouquet ones Which is funny because they are the ones that I pulled so Kazua and Che and they look amazing Love the outfits love the Prada the Miu Miu that they've got going on there Looks so good All right, let's get into the photo books starting off with Volume 1, Black Petrol. This is my favorite 
concept between the two. I love both of them, but this is the one that I really liked when I was first getting to know the Seraphim, and I liked the whole motorway racetrack kind of thing. I know they have changed the packaging since, because those ones were a bit of a mess to open. I'm lucky that mine looks pretty good. I am grateful for that. Okay, right into the photo book. Um, I did not know this was embossed. I really like that, actually. Didn't realize it. <laughs> I love the look of their books, though. I think the concepts are amazing, and I actually have one I keep in the album, and another one I just kind of leave out like a coffee table book, because like, look how awesome this is. Of course I want it on display, and I like just the sleekness of the design on the outside, like the cover. It's just simple. I love simplicity. Kasua and her sequin cat suit. Yeah, we are going to speed through this as fast as we can, or as fast as I can. Again, just trying to keep it short. Oh, this is my favorite photo of Kazua. I love it. Oh, and actually this is my favorite of Yinjin as well, from this era. Big fan of both of those photos. They're really nice. I like the leather moto vibes that they have here. They all just look so badass. Speed racer stuff. And yeah, Kasua, she looks amazing. I do wish that they gave her different shoes though. The strappy stilettos does not seem like reasonable <laughs> to me on a racetrack, but she obviously kills it, so it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm definitely like a fashion kind of girl and I'm also looking at practicality in a sense. I don't know. I, I love being inspired. That's actually partly what I really like about K-pop and all of this is seeing things that I personally want to wear and how they style them as well as how the girls wear them. And either yeah, that jacket and she wears, I really like that. I think it's so nice. Ah, uh, got him. Like I said before, I wasn't a fan until Anti-Fragile, and I didn't know them really until Anti-Fragile, so I actually didn't know much about what happened with Garam, I didn't know who she was. I do now, and I do understand that it's too bad, but it is what it is to me. I, I was never following the situation, so I only know what's happened now, I guess. But I do still collect her photo cards from this era because she was a part of the Seraphim and I am, spoiler alert, OT5, so that's that. So I, I want all of it. I mean, I guess OT6 for for this one. Oh, Shewan Mir. I really like that. Yeah, the mesh cutouts on some of the outfits. Shewan, Yunjin in like the burgundy red. Sakura has one as well. I think that's really cool. Just full on black. It looks amazing. And then at the very back, more things too, and their signatures as well. Okay, inclusion time. So first up is this sticker. I think it's called a transfer sticker. So it's this is like the way to read it obviously, but this is the back, so you're seeing it through the paper and the back has this like rough texture on it. So I know this has to be, well, it's called the transfer. <laughs> you transfer it onto something, but I can't find any information how to do it. So I think you like put it on a shirt or something fabric, turn it over and then iron it. But I haven't been able to find any information on it, at least in English that I can read. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. It makes the most sense to me. I do really want to try it, but I'm kind of nervous about it because what if it doesn't really work out and I use it on like a shirt I like or, you know, I don't want to use it on like a shirt that I don't care about because if it works, I want to wear it, but whatever. We'll see. If I try it, I'll let you know. I do have another one of these too, so... It could be worth the experiment just to see if I can do it. Next, let's look at the CD. 
it just says I'm fearless and then it is attached by a sticker and then you just pull it out there it is all your songs on there just what you need when you buy an album for sure <laughs> again I love the sleek design of their stuff here is their postcard it's just a logo postcard nothing special I know people were a little disappointed they wanted something more but again I really like the sleek design and it's nice to have just a simple Le Seraphim so then our big sticker sheet I love stickers I use them all the time always love that and then this is the little envelope that your photo card comes in mine's not currently in there because I already took it out but you'll see it in a second. I love how it comes in here. You don't have to spoil yourself and then you can also use them after as like um, placeholders in your binder. Really cool idea. And here is my poll, Unche. My first fearless poll that I ever got. I love this card. It's one of my favorites of her. Actually, this, this might be my favorite, so great poll. Moving on to the Blue Cypri edition. I think that's how you say that. This is another lovely photo book. Love the design and beautiful imagery in this one. They did a great job with the mermaid style concept. You'll see in a second. But let's open her up. So exact same inclusions and things as the other photo book. Just a different photo book but everything else is, is the same but then also a different photo card too ideally when you get a set of albums this one is so nice and shiny and beautiful and difficult to film you, you can see a little bit of me there but so worth it I really like how this one is done it's great so starting with the flip through I really like the outfits for this one too. Just a really good contrast to Black Petrol as well. Great choice and they look so amazing. And without saying it's a mermaid concept, you can still tell it is. I, I really like that about it. So they all have their like tube top, little scarf tops, and then the long she style straight skirts, which is the best part about it. Really well done for all of them. Chewan and her amazing diamonds she looks so good she pulls off a tube top like no other they put her in tube tops all the time and as they should because it just looks so good on her i hope they don't stop because i mean i'm jealous because i can't wear tube tops but she looks good in them and it's amazing same with kazuha actually they put her in quite a few as well and yeah they all look so good in all these outfits and all outfits they're in for the most part. Yeah, really good job with styling for Le Seraphim as a whole, I'd say. Another reason that I just got so into them. The styling is just so well done. And they still have the kind of crazy full-on K-pop outfits here and there, but I, I love that too. Especially when it's not every single thing. You have some cohesive ones, you have some more out there k-pop style ones you have simple ones it's it's really good sakura with all the flowers so beautiful and unche with her full-on sparkle sequin dress she looks so young here compared to like a year later it's crazy she's so cute and i really think a sequin dress was the perfect choice for her for this one definitely there's our kazuha also looking amazing in her little scarf tube top i really like the just what is it like three inches of water on the ground i think that was a really cool choice to just give some great looks to the photos as you can see with that one. Oh, Yunjin, I love that Miu Miu diamond drop top she has on. It's so pretty. 
Yeah, I think this concept is most people's favorite from this era. I totally see why. I love it. All the beautiful flowers and those water, like, reflections on the wall. And our units! Cute little unit photos. I love this photo book. I love all their photo books. That's why I'm doing this, you know? <laughs> it's so nice to look through them. And then we have all of their signatures again. Okay, another look at the inclusions. Same transfer sticker, same CD. I'm not going to open it again. <laughs> same postcard, logo postcard, and same sticker sheet too. And exact same little envelope as well. Cute little envelope. So for this album, my first photo card pull was sakura so beautiful she looks so amazing i love this photo card as well i mean they're all just so special so big fan but that's pretty much it and basically brings us to the end of this video here is a layout of everything we've got in all of the albums and all of my first pulls from fearless era Please remember to subscribe to see more Le Seraphim content in the very near future. And thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you again.